Do you, do you think it's going to be a disruptive change? I mean, there was the comment made again in the afternoon that is it going to be disruptive or is it simply going to be cheaper, faster, easier to use type of changes? It's going to be both. Yeah. I mean, somebody else made a comment earlier, you know, the, the an analogies to the internet are, are, are overdone and, and there's, some, there's some element to that. But if you think back to how you were thinking about the internet broadly defined sometime in the early 1990s, we were all asking ourselves, uh, those, those of us that were aware uh, enough to realize, uh, you know, what did this mean and who would be the winners and who would be the losers. And the net result is there were some massive winners, there were some massive losers, and the vast majority of people had to adapt and adopt. Uh, for example, every financial institution on the planet uh, provides its customers with online financial services today. And if you don't, you basically don't have a business. Yeah. So everybody had to adapt and adopt. Uh, and some people did go out of business, um, whether you know, we're talking about media or other, other businesses um, uh, is really not the point. There's a strict analogy here, I think. Yeah. Without a timeline, what do you see in the future? If, you said, if I said, what was going to be the tipping point? What would you imagine all of a sudden that's the aha moment where you know, distributed ledger slash blockchain have truly had an impact on the industry? What would be that moment in your eyes? It, it will. I mean, I think we've already we've already had some. Uh, I think uh, the embracing of uh, existing large international financial firms of uh, opportunities or risks in this space, uh, as manifested by their investment in companies, uh, their investment of time and resources uh, in technology, uh, their joining of open source projects. Those are all important. Uh, really important milestones that shouldn't be ignored. I think the, one, uh, the creation uh, of uh, consortiums uh, to focus on uh, uh, areas of mutual opportunity, I think that's a, another one. Um, but looking forward, uh, I think probably uh, the most important event will be the deployment, the first deployment or deployments of uh, this technology uh, in a real commercial setting dealing with real meaningful volumes of something, whether it's a cash equities a use case or something else. Uh, these are in the works. Um, by definition, this, these will have to involve multiple parties uh, because uh, these are ecosystems that have centralized providers but uh, uh, dispersed uh, customers. Uh, and the act uh, of getting you know, just one of those uh, in play uh, will have the knock-on effect of exposing a, uh, a number of uh, customers to differing degrees. There has to be, by the way, if you're going to do this, uh, for example, in the context of a, of a national stock market, um, there has to be an option where the end cust there are certain, certain parts of the end customer base that need to feel nothing at all. There's no change.